of you, not all of you, but a lot of you will know that I started off this channel reading Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm going to stop waving the Kindle around, got a slap on the wrist, and that was it. That was the end of my reading career, or so I thought, until I found out about this series. There is a series of books um, online. It's dinosaur porn, basically. There's no other way of putting it other than just jumping in. It's dinosaur porn. Dragons, orcs, I don't know what else. We're going to start with one called... <laughs> Taken by the T Rex. Um, that that sums up the that sums up the entire series, basically. All of these books um, that I'm going to be reading can be found on the Kindle store. Um, so I'm not going to read the whole book to you. You can pick them up um, using the link in the description if you want. I think they're pretty cheap. I don't know. Uh, they were nice enough to send me um, copies for free. Thanks for the dinosaur porn. <laughs> but I mean, let's let's between you and me, you don't want me reading the entire story. You want to get to the porn. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a bit of background and then I'm just gonna get straight in with the T-Rex the penetration or whatever is in store. I haven't read them, so we're gonna go through this together. Smashed bodies and pieces of bodies littered the valley floor as a small band of hunters looked down on the devastation which the big lizard had wrought. Good start to the pawn. Just bodies everywhere. Dead bodies, not naked. They might be naked, but they're dead. Don't touch the dead bodies. Most of the bodies which lay scattered throughout the village have been partially eaten. Huge bite marks, severing limbs or heads are, oh, now I really want a fat. The big lizard has stamped through the huts, destroying homes and killing at random. So I assume the lizard has gone. Hooray! That's the end. Now go fuck it. The small hunting party made their way down the valley side to the devastated village and Drin looked around her with tears in her eyes. Drin screamed her anguish as her eyes fell upon the smashed body of her mother. I shouldn't be laughing, but what? Gruel could find nothing of his woman apart from a severed foot, which he carried around the remains of his home, bellowing at the sk <laughs> bellowing at the sky. He's just carrying a foot around his house. <laughs> what are we going to do? Drin demanded of Gruel as she reached the man's smashed home. He offered the foot he carried and looked blankly back at her with tears streaming down his face. Have my wife's foot! What are we going to do? Drin repeated, pushing the foot away. Like, no, Gruel, we'll leave it out. Just leave the severed limb on the floor. All right, I'm 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 looking for dinosaur cock now. That's it, I'm, I'm ready. Two months passed before the Tyrannosaurus Rex struck again. Cool, he's come back to the village. Okay, so basically, the dinosaur completely wrecks the village and Drin thinks, fuck it, it's already ruined the village. I'm gonna go and chase after it suck it off, I don't know, that's not what she's thinking, but she's gonna, isn't she? Oh. I'm actually really interested in how the sex happens, and that, that's not because I'm perverted, but don't T-Rexes have, like, tiny arms? Like, how are you gonna... Oh, that's a low point for my channel right there. <laughs> Basically keeping it short and sweet. She tries to trap the T-Rex, tripping it over and all that shit as they're running through the forest, which is just making him pissed off. Drin's stomach muscles clench in delicious pleasure as she heard the beast roar. This is what exited Drin. Not excited, exited, apparently. Springing along the trail, suddenly as horny as hell, Drin had to fight the urge to touch herself between the legs as she ran, and the big lizard gave chase. Why would you suddenly be turned on? Where did that come from? She turned to see the big lizard approaching her slowly, knowing there was no escape for her. Blood dribbled from its left knee joint, dribbled. Ugh. Then it lunged. Oh, gonna lunge you with my big, sexy dinosaur arms. <laughs> the big lizard was upon her, its grasping, immensely strong forelegs clamping her arms with an unbreakable grip. You don't have back legs or forelegs, it runs on its only legs. With its only arms, up here somewhere. Learn your anatomy, girls. If you want a woman to fuck a dinosaur, learn how a dinosaur works. Without warning, it ripped her loincloth away. How? It's holding her. Did he, like... That's not... Oh, I'm gonna stop talking about dinosaur physics. This, that clearly was not a factor when writing this book. She looked down once more, shocked at the actions of this monster, to see the curls of her own dark pubic hair. Well, I'm glad you got something realistic. Dad. Did you really just come in while I'm reading about pubic hair? Fantastic. Dirty I'm not a dirty bastard. The woman's a dirty bastard. I'm not fucking a dinosaur. My dad chooses the worst times to come in my room. Below her feet was an object she was unable to identify. Two feet in length, at least. It was as thick as her arm at the elbow, except for the end, which tapered down to a blunt point, dark red and solid. I wonder what that is. There was no way that this creature would be able to shove that massive member inside her. 
Congratulations, realistic fanfiction involving a woman fucking a dinosaur. Oh. Drin stilled as she felt the first touch of the creature's rock hard, red hot, moist flesh bobbing against her thighs. The creature drove upwards, smashing the tip of its tapered cock into her sensitive pussy. It was way too big to actually fit, and so the length of it slid along her dampness, spreading her pussy lips wide and stroking across the super sensitive tissues there. Right, first off, dampness. In confusion, the T-Rex drew back and tried to penetrate her again, the result being the same, its long, rough member grazing across her clitoris as it thrust. The effect was actually beginning to feel nice to Drin. Oh, fantastic, she's aroused by dinosaur cock. Even though the thought of this vile beast arousing her was disgusting, it was better than being devoured. No, I'd say they're about the same. I'd be ashamed of both. Once again, the big lizard tried to push itself inside her and was unable to, merely grinding her dampening the tapered tip of its penis sliding between her swollen breasts. Boobs don't swell up when you're sexually excited. That would be fantastic, but that doesn't happen. They don't just... She managed to bring her legs up, locking her ankles around its wet dick as well, the entire length of her body becoming a for this animal to fuck. The sensations crashing through her system eventually brought her to the brink and she had the first orgasm of her life, being masturbated on by a dinosaur. You poor thing. She could see the red tip of its thick cock stabbing upwards between her breasts with each stroke. Oh, you're giving her a tit job. The dinosaur's giving her a tit job. She stared at the tip, mesmerized. There was a hole in it from which a clear liquid was oozing, coating her torso and thighs with an odd smelling lubricant. <laughs> Unbelievably, Drin started to feel herself building up towards another intense climax. How? He's giving you a tit job! Like, you don't get sexual pleasure from your tits! As she came, she clutched tightly onto the lizard's dick, her arms and legs tightening on the throbbing, red-hot member. The Tyrannosaurus Rex yelled loudly as pints of white fluid shot from the tip of its fat cock to splash onto the rocks below them. Once, twice, and then a third time, the big lizard rammed its shaft against her naked body. Each time, more of its semen ejaculated across the canyon, wetting the rocks below. And I think I'm going to leave it there because the rest of it's like the after sex in which she feels ashamed. Um, well, I assume she feels ashamed. I'd feel pretty fucking ashamed. I'm going to go and touch myself to the thought of a dinosaur giving me a tit job. Goodbye.